On another part of the border, the British achieved a sudden success. According to the Peace of Utrecht, they were the owners of the peninsula where the present-day Canadian province Nova Scotia is located. To support their rights, the French built a number of forts on the isthmus connecting Nova Scotia with the continent. In summer 1755, a squad of 2,000 men moved out of Halifax and occupied all the forts on the New Brunswick Isthmus. The French garrisons, totaling 500 men, yielded to them without firing a single shot. Quebec paid major attention to the lands in the south of the Great Lakes. Meanwhile, the British not merely occupied several frontier forts, but had also secured a land corridor between Nova Scotia and the main territory of their American colonies. A bridgehead had been prepared for the attack on the St. Lawrence Valley. In the next step, Britain intended to deport the French inhabitants to other colonies such as Georgia, Massachusetts, and so on. To that end, they manned an expedition under the command of Colonel Johnson, who was in charge of more than 4,000 troops with heavy and light artillery. All the French could hold against their adversary were about 1,500 troops, militiamen, and Native Americans. As a result of Johnson's expedition, Britain was able to strengthen its positions along the River Oswego and threaten the French lines of communication in the south of the Great Lakes.